Are you looking for the best AIO cooler for CPU? Tech Vibes presents top 5 best AIO cooler for CPUs this year. These AIO cooler are hand picked based on the overall design, hardware, customer reviews, and expert reviews. I will show each of the AIO cooler's strengths and weaknesses. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Okay, so let's get to the video. Number 1. EKAIO Basic 240. Our first pick on our list is EKAIO Basic 240. In the world of liquid cooling, EK is a name that needs little introduction. The EK Basic series focuses on value for money and performance. Plus, it doesn't feature any RGB at all, which helps to keep the pricing down too. If this appeals to you then the EKAIO Basic 240 is well worth a look. The EK Basic 240 really stands out thanks to its build quality. It's hefty and well built. The included EK Vardar fans are very good and have a wide operating speed range. It's good to have some high speed headroom on tap if you need it. Most of the time it stays essentially silent. What really impresses us is the cooling performance on offer. We find it goes very close to 360mm levels of cooling capability. It does get noisy if you try to push an overclocked Rocket Lake CPU but then pretty much every other cooler does too. The EKAIO Basic 240 is perfect for builds with a stealthy focus or closed case builds where lighting doesn't matter. With its build quality and high performance, it's a cooler that you can surely set and forget, out of sight, out of mind and out of earshot. Number 2. Deepcool Gamax L240 V2. The next pick on our list is the Deepcool Gamax L240 V2. Deepcool is well known for its capable AIOs at affordable prices, and the Gamax L240 V2 is one of the cheaper 240mm coolers on the market. That makes it a great option for users looking to step up from air cooling into the world of AIO cooling. The Gamax 240mm features basic RGB lighting on the pump head and fans. There's a more expensive ARGB version should you really want it. Deepcool likes to talk about its anti-leak technology, which seeks to maintain an optimal pressure balance inside the loop. Which certainly can't hurt. The Gamax 240 is capable of cooling most processors, too, though like many of the chip chillers on this list it draws the line at AMD's Threadripper Beasts. But it keeps the rest running with remarkably low noise levels, which is one of the main reasons we recommend it. At idle the L240 is effectively silent. As you'd expect, you will start to see an increase in temperatures and noise levels with high TDP processors, especially when overclocking. Our 5800X CPU with PBO enabled is about the maximum we'd consider appropriate for a 240mm cooler. Under load, the fans can and do ramp up quite a bit. If you're after a 240mm AIO that's inexpensive and quiet under less demanding loads, then the Deepcool Gamax L240 is a great choice. Sure. Its noise levels can get high if you push it hard, but at this price it comes highly recommended. Number 3. MSI Mag Core Liquid P240. Next on our list we have the MSI Mag Core Liquid P240. Many AIO coolers come with fancy screens or ARGB fans, but those features usually push up the cost and add exactly zero to the actual cooling capability of the unit. Enter the MSI Mag Core Liquid P240. It won't win the local AIO beauty pageant, but it will cool your CPU and do it at a great price. The P240 is a newer model which means it comes with LGA1700 compatibility right out of the box. It will fit pretty much any socket from the last 10 years, with the exception of AMD's Threadripper models. The P240 features a slightly unusual design. The pump isn't located inside the head unit as you might expect but is inside the radiator itself. MSI claims that this can extend the life of the pump by moving it away from the rapid temperature changes experienced by the CPU block. The noise levels of the P240 are very good, though when stressed by the demanding all-core load of our PBO-enabled Ryzen 5800X test system, the fan speeds and noise levels ramped up. A hot CPU like a 12900 Kelvins will be beyond it, especially if you overclock it. Sometimes, less is more. If unicorns dancing on rainbows isn't your thing or you're looking for a capable and quiet AIO cooler that you can install and forget, then the MSI Core Liquid P240 is an easy recommendation. 
Number 4. Asus TUF Gaming LC 240A RGB. The very next pick is Asus TUF Gaming LC 240A RGB. Asus wouldn't be the first name on most people's lips when it comes to affordability, but the TUF Gaming LC 240 offers great value for money and, thanks to its support for addressable RGB, it's a good way to add color and capable cooling at the same time, all without having to spend a whole lot of your hard-earned cash. As an ASTIC built unit underneath, it is in many ways similar to a lot of other coolers, but ASUS has chosen to include fans that are tuned for low noise operation, with a maximum noise rating of just 29 decibels, A. Even when it's running at full speed, it stays very quiet, though this also means that it won't deliver the low temperatures of some other 240mm units. But unless you're loading up a high core count processor for long periods, this won't be a concern. If you're looking for an affordable AIO with ARGB support that's also quiet and affordable, then the LC240 ARGB is well worth a look. Install it and you'll forget you're even running a liquid cooler. One of the other key characteristics of the TUF brand is reliability, and the LC240 ARGB comes with a six-year warranty for that little bit of extra peace of mind. Number 5. Cooler Master Master Liquid ML360 RRGB. The last pick on our list is the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML360 RRGB. The Cooler Master Master Liquid ML360 RRGB isn't the newest cooler on the market, but it's been one of our favorites for a long time. It offers a good blend of cooling performance and ARGB customizable good looks. It just so happens to be one of the better value RGB supporting 360mm coolers on the market. What's not to like? The ML360R comes with its own RGB controller, which is great if you hate installing too much software on your system. There might be a bit of cable spaghetti, but with some careful routing, this shouldn't be a problem. Performance-wise, the ML360R is very good, though AIO manufacturing has come a long way and it's no longer the class-leading performer it once was. That probably sounds too harsh, because the ML360R is certainly no dud and it will handle a modern high-core count processor with ease. The Cooler Master ML360R is a very good all-rounder. If your case can handle a 360mm rad, you'll find it offers a great blend of cooling ability, good noise levels, ARGB good looks, and as it is now a mature market entrant, offers very good value for money. The ML360R is an oldie but goodie, and it remains a favorite AIO of ours. Thanks for watching the video. If you find this video helpful please help the channel by giving this video a like, or subscribe the channel and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below.